mean, I never thought I would be one in four. You know, that statistic of women who are victims of domestic violence was something I heard about and never understood. I mean, I felt very strong about it. It will never happen to me. I will never allow anybody to lay their hands on me. Not ever. I had to cover up bruises. I had to pretend like everything was okay. I had to pull myself together. The first time it really got physical, I was eight and a half months pregnant with my oldest child. I have three children. He grabbed me by my shirt and he threw me. So I went flying out of the room. He was like, you see what happened when you don't listen? And he took his belt off and folded it in hand. And my first lash was to my legs. I couldn't show up to certain family events. Or when I did, I seemed more frazzled or, you know, just anxious. It wasn't long before they got very angry with me. They have uh, disowned me. Uh, domestic violence is such a difficult thing uh, for anybody to understand, unless I guess you're a part of it. I held it in because I was so hurt and I was so embarrassed. I wanted to be respected and I hadn't been respected. So the last thing I wanted to do was tell my story and have people look at me with puppy eyes and think, oh, that poor thing. You always have another option. You don't want to wake up the next morning and have to face it again, but you will wake up and what that means is you have a new opportunity for hope. You're always in control of your next opportunity. And if you're willing to do it, you'll grow into the woman of your biggest dreams. Today, I am a survivor. And in fact, I am thriving. It's a different day. I'm learning, changing, thriving. Though I don't call it a victim. I don't want to be a victim. I'm not a survivor. I'm a victor. What I did wasn't done in tragedy or pity. It was done with a lot of strength and a lot of courage. And every woman who comes out of that deserves to have that title of a victor, a champion. As long as I remain a victim, I, I won't stop the abuse happening. But when I choose to be a survivor, I'm taking responsibility for my part of the story. For many years, I was not ready to be anything but a victim. You are not a victim, though you are victorious. And if he says or does something to make you feel inadequate or even less of a human, less about yourself, that is abuse. Don't be afraid to be by yourself or to leave that person because love does not hurt. I am one in four.